Hello everyone and welcome back to Moonmouth Goddess Tarot. My name is Monique and this is my main tarot channel here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for your continued love and support. For those of you that are new, welcome. Um, you may also want to check out my second tarot channel, Neptune's Child Tarot, where I do have additional pick card readings that are more for self-focused uh, readings, career and finance, spiritual gifts, healing, ancestor messages, spirit guide messages, uh, all kinds of stuff that so you guys want to check out over there as well, okay? So Neptune's Child Tarot for the other one. Um, today's pick a card reading, we are doing what are your person's feelings and intentions towards you. Um, and so I just have some crystals out for you guys today. But we are going to be uh, pulling the tarot as well as the oracle messages for you guys. Those of you that are wanting to book a private reading, you can always find my email down below in the description box where you can send me an email and I will provide you on more information on booking readings as well as other services that I do provide uh, to you guys. So pile number one, you are going to be this chunky amethyst crystal. Okay, that's going to be for pile number one. What are your person's feelings and intentions with amethyst? Pile number two, and I do not know what this crystal is called, this stone. It is a very light green color and it is covered in shimmery, looks like glitter all over it. Okay, so it is the, I'm just going to call it the shimmery, shimmery crystal. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. Okay, but that is going to be for pile number two. Pile number three, we have this big chunk of celestite. Okay, which is like a light blue color. Light blue, it's a little dusty. Uh, for pile number three. Okay, so those are your choices for your crystals today. We have amethyst for pile number one. We have this shimmery crystal for pile number two. And then we have my dusty piece of celestite for pile number three. Timestamps will be down below and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, pile one. Welcome to your reading. So today we are finding out what your person's feelings and intentions are towards you. We're going to be pulling some tarot, some oracle cards. Okay, so let's see pile number one. And I want to kind of get a look at what the energy is here that they have towards you. So I'm going to pull the tarot, but I do want to see the oracle cards out too to give some extra messages here. So what are your person's current feelings and intentions towards you, pile one? Current feelings and intentions. And I will have all the decks listed down below for you guys. We have the page of cups is what we're starting off with. We have the Three of Swords. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have the King of Cups. Okay. We have the Page of Pentacles. What are their feelings and intentions? Wow. Look at this. I don't know if you guys notice this or not. <laughs> Your readers, then you probably get it. But we've got the Page of Cups, the King of Cups. Okay, that's for feelings, emotions. Then we've got the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so we've got pages and then kings. Which, the way that I'm kind of looking at this is that <clears throat> this person is someone who has, I feel like, strong feelings towards you, okay? Strong feelings. As far as the emotional aspect of it, I feel like this person has the feelings here, likes you, or even maybe likes you a lot. Because for some of you where this is the newer connection, it may not quite be at that level of full-on being in love with you just yet, okay? But I'm seeing the starting off as a page here. The Three of Swords is telling me that this person is someone who maybe is afraid of, of getting hurt, okay? Allowing themselves to be more open and more vulnerable. But it makes me feel like they see that there is the development of these feelings and these emotions from the level of a page to the king. 
And then with the Page of Pentacles energy here, the Page of Pentacles is feeling an eagerness to start something, to plant the seed for something. And because it's the pentacles, the pentacles are everything that's happening in the 3D, meaning making this real, right? Taking it from a page, which would be either starting something new or someone who is investing only a little bit, right? Up into that king of pentacles, which is full on investment into something for the long term. And so it kind of gives me this vibe that this person sees that there is this potential for the two of you guys to have something more where they can invest themselves or see themselves, you know, in this case, for some of you that are just starting out or just dating, um, to fully allowing themselves to open up here. But yes, I feel like the Three of Swords, maybe this person's still healing from something from their past. Um, or it could even be like if you have had some difficulties with this person, challenges there. But let's see what else is here. What are their feelings and intentions? We have soul. And it says the energy of soul activates our connection to the part of us that is close, closer to the higher realms, God or the divine. And I'm seeing romantic love at the bottom. So it makes me feel like this person is like in a place where their feelings are here, right? Feelings, emotions, either the person really liking you. The Page of Cups is a very sweet, very innocent, very flirty energy. This would more or less be what happens when you start dating someone. You're courting each other. You're, you know, very dreamy and just like imagining all the butterflies and the rainbows and all that stuff. It's very Piscean energy with the Page of Cups. The King of Cups is more calm, more emotionally stable. Someone who may not blurt out all the things to you but there's a lot of very deep energy that's here okay so especially for those of you that have invested the time and energy to me that is someone being in love right so let's see what else we have soul here so maybe for some of you this person feels that there is definitely a strong soul connection that they have with you what are their feelings and intentions we have victory let's see what else what are their feelings and intentions towards pile number one? We have discipline here, which to me is about them really kind of grounding themselves, focusing their energy. I think I'm going to do this. Um, focusing their energy here on you and the connection. Victory is about a victory, right? Success and achievement. Um, being able to kind of overcome something. And it says, I can accomplish what I set my mind to, right? So maybe they feel like, okay, well, I can move past this Three of Swords. I can move past this pain. I can open up my heart because the Page of Cups can also signify somebody who is a little emotionally immature, um, someone who has issues opening themselves up and being vulnerable. Um, and the Page of Pentacles, like I said, is a little, little offer here where the King is something full on. So to me, it's kind of like they see that if they focus on opening up their heart, right, they can move past whatever that three of swords signifies for them and open themselves up. And I just saw, what is that? The three of cups, share the love, right? And in this card, we can see this person's hand that is holding a little broken heart here, but it looks like those, there's like a little line that's glowing here where the crack is. And it's like, I don't know. To me, it's kind of like symbolic of this hand healing the heart. Share the love. The Three of Cups is a beautiful card of people coming together, you know, experiencing joy, experiencing happiness. So it kind of gives me this vibe that this person sees that I can, it's safe for me to love. You know, it's safe for me to love in this connection. What else? What are their feelings and intentions? Okay, so we have new vitality, new vitality, and it looks like he's playing, I don't even know what this is. That's not a harmonica, some kind of flute or something like that. But there's this beautiful rainbow, you know, that, that is coming out of that. Um, hmm. Beautiful rainbow there. Discipline. It makes me feel like this person is 
feeling that there is attraction between the two of you. There is a strong, like I said, for some of you, a very strong soul connection this person feels is there between the two of you. Um, but yeah, the, I feel like they, they see here that the, um, they're seeing that there is potential for the two of you with this ace here, the ace of wands. They see that there's potential for your connection. Okay, so what I want to do, we're going to go into some oracle oracle messages here. Um, and I wanted to say a huge, huge, huge thank you. Um, yesterday I received a bunch, you guys, a bunch of decks from Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. Um, these are two of them, Twin Flame Untold Truths, Purple Divine Love Oracle. So we're going to be using these for our reading today. And then she also sent me this one too, Twin Flame Union Oracle. So I'm going to, yeah, we're going to use these. Um, I will put her links down below. These are available on Etsy, but she was kind enough to donate these um, to the channel so that we have messages. So thank you so much, um, Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. She also has a YouTube channel and her Etsy shop. She has tons, tons and tons of Oracle decks. Okay, so let's see. And they're all so beautiful. Okay, so let's see. Feelings and intentions, pile number one. Pile number one, feelings and intentions. Your person's feelings and intentions. Look at that. What was I just saying? It's safe to love. It's safe to love. How about that? <laughs> All right. What are their feelings? We have broken heart, which we can see that. Three of swords, that little broken heart that's right there in the palm. Okay. I love that. This is perfect. Okay. So we have, I don't want to lose you. And then we have bad timing and commitment. Okay. Mm. So for some of you, maybe this person kind of feels like I'm still healing right now. I'm healing. I'm doing my work. I'm, I'm healing here. You know, maybe they feel like because they're still healing, maybe the timing is off, right? But there's potential here. There's potential. I don't want to lose you, but I'm working on myself. There's an opportunity for commitment here. And I know you want commitment, pile one. I know you want it. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're getting with that one. Let's see what else. Now let's go into this one. Feelings and intentions. We have rosy colored glasses. See past the illusions and unkept promises. Hmm. So I would say, you know, you have to set some boundaries, of course, with the person, right? Because if you know they're still healing, yes, and they see that there's a connection here. But you also shouldn't allow breadcrumbs, right? You have to really stand your ground and say, okay, I want a commitment. And if you're not ready for that just yet, I know you see that there's potential here. But if you're not quite ready, let me take a step back. Right? Let you let you focus on you. So I feel like this is also a message for you too, right? Don't let the person kind of keep you stringing along. You know? Okay, so let's see here. What are their feelings and intentions? We have starting fresh, clean slate, new chapter, starting over. So maybe for some of you that means reconciliation. We have options here, multiple choices, many opportunities available. And then we also have celebrations here. Good times, get together, spending time with you. And then we also have traditions here. Morals, values, family, ropes. So more or less, this is commitment. Okay, a traditional commitment, spending time with you, starting fresh. If they are someone who was, you know, let's just say dating other people, right? Hmm. Making sure they're making the right choices. Underneath the deck, we have clean up here, and it says letting go of what no longer is serving you. 
Okay, letting that go. So let's go into this one now. Okay. <clears throat> what are their feelings and intentions? We have obsession, unhealthy attachment, controlling, and jealousy. So that may be the case for some of you, right? Where you know a person is a little obsessive over you, or they could be someone who does get jealous, or it maybe kind of makes me fight because we have, I don't want to lose you. Okay, and I'm feeling like this is very, a little selfish, <laughs> okay? A little selfish because... Like I said, this person sees that there's potential here for this connection to develop from something small into something more, right? But they know that they're healing. I don't want to lose you. And unkept promises. This almost makes me feel like this person is jealous about you being with somebody else. So it's kind of like in a way for some of this person could be a little bit selfish in that I'm not quite ready to commit just yet. And I know that we can, I know that I want to, and I know that it's something that's possible for us and I'm not quite ready yet. It's a little bit of bad timing here, but I don't want to lose you. So it makes me think you guys need to be discerning here, you know, for some of you that you know, like this person is not like they're giving you just enough, right? The little breadcrumbing here, just enough to keep you, to not lose you. As they're working on, maybe on themselves. And I would say, set boundaries, right? Set boundaries with the person. Um, be clear about what it is that you want. And maybe for some of you, it is a little bit of withdrawing your own energy from them till they get their stuff together. Okay. That's what I'm getting there. Let's see. But look at that. There's a heart in that eye. Obsession. We have, what does this say? Something. Oh, heartbroken. It says deeply hurt, sad, breakup, separation, and feeling lost. So some of you could be in a breakup with this person. Maybe they're still, like I said, still healing from something. What are their feelings and intentions? Love lessons. Look at how beautiful these cards are, you guys. Um, opening your heart, gained wisdom, maturity, and values. So they're learning. I feel like maybe... Work, working on themselves, right? Their intention is to work on themselves too because they, I feel like they don't want to mm, like mess this up. They don't want to mess it up. They don't want to lose you either. What are their feelings and intentions? We've got the chaser here. Codependent attachment, fear of abandonment. Maybe this person's afraid you'll leave them. You may also feel like you're the chaser here chasing them. We have toxic, drama filled, negative vibe, constant fight. So that may not be the case for all of you. I'm also looking at this in terms of a person's any type of toxic patterns of behavior a person might have that they're working on, right? We have cleanup here, letting go of what no longer is serving you. Let's get one more. Manifesting. Calling in your soulmate and casting spells. <laughs> casting spells. Okay. I almost feel like, let me ask Spirit here for some guidance for you, Pile 1. Like I said, for some of you, it's going to be a need for you to, you know, especially if the person's like not ready and, you're, and you are. Mm -hmm. Boundaries here, withdrawing your energy. Pay attention to their actions, right? Their words. Are they aligning? Okay, let's see. What is Pal One's guidance on this connection? What is Pal One's guidance? The death card. Let's see what else. What is Pal One's guidance? The Eight of Wands. 
we have the tower and then we have the world okay now this energy here I'm seeing the eight of wands energy here and the eight of wands is about communication okay clear communication back and forth so the world the death card and the tower this to me looks like ending something letting something go so I feel like if you were in the situation with the person right now and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the person to make the move to commit to you and it's something that you really want and they're not and you know they're not ready energetically you know they're not um it, this may be making the decision to let this person go for now okay with because this the death card is an ending the tower is releasing something breaking something down and the world is an end to a cycle Okay, and then I'm seeing the Ace of Cups at the bottom, which is a new beginning in love. So it almost makes me feel like Spirit's saying, if this person can't pull it together for you and is not making you a priority and they're not giving you what it is that you want, keep your options open. Right? Keep your options open. So, I mean, if and if they are showing you that they are changing or they're they're you know there's a clear difference in this person's energy you know maybe this is working towards communicating with this person for some of you you know ending certain patterns of behavior that are not really conducive to leading to a solid commitment and you know working towards bringing renewal here right putting the past behind you letting the past go especially for those of you that are trying to reconcile with someone you know the death card is also about transformation. Um, transformation. The tower is also an epiphany, a realization, an awakening. You know, letting go of things that are not in alignment, bringing those things to an end. Okay? So take that how it resonates to your situation. But that is all that I have for you, pile number one. Again, thank you guys so much for your continued love and support. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Hi, Pal 2. So those of you that resonate with this shimmery green crystal here, uh, this is going to be a reading. So we are finding out what are your person's feelings and intentions towards you. So we are going to be pulling the tarot first, uh, the oracle. Let's see. Pile number two. What are your person's Feelings and intentions towards you. Feelings and intentions. And then we'll get some advice at the end. We have the Two of Swords. What are your person's feelings and intentions towards you currently? The Death card in reverse. Page of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have the King of Cups in reverse. Okay. Mm, it kind of makes me feel like this person is holding in. I'm seeing the Ten of Wands at the bottom. This is uh, the Ten of Wands energy could be feeling very overwhelmed, holding themselves back. I feel like this person has attraction towards you. But with that Two of Swords energy here, this is having conflicting thoughts, ideas, indecisive about, about the connection. And... The Knight of Pentacles energy is, is very slow moving. So it makes me feel like this person is like taking their time. The King of Cups energy in reverse makes me feel like this person at, at times is like this person has time uh, difficulty opening themselves up. So some of you could be dealing with someone who does have emotional blockages with that King of Cups in reverse. The Page of Cups makes me feel like this person has romantic feelings that are there. 
but almost feels afraid to open up their heart fully to the connection. So it's kind of like easing into it with the Knight of Pentacles, taking time, little baby steps. It makes me feel like this person feels that there's something here between the two of you because with the Death card in reverse, this is more we're resistant to some type of change or transformation or almost like this person is not wanting to let go. Okay? Because the death card can also be about an ending, bringing something to an end here. The Ten of Wands is also, you know, reaching that place where a person feels just drained, exhausted, fatigued, tired, or feeling overwhelmed, stressed out. Okay, I want to see what else is coming through. We're going to pull some Oracle. So what are their feelings and intentions towards pile number two? We have listen here. That's the high priestess. What are their feelings and intentions? Which is, to me, it's like they're keeping things a secret. They're not revealing something. We have the hermit, which says seek. The hermit is about spending time in solitude, uh, taking time to reflect, do some introspection. So it makes me feel like this person is not quite sure. I feel like, like the intention for this connection is not quite clear yet. Like almost like this person feels confused. They don't know if whether they should end it or if they should keep going with it and really just open up their heart. But I'm seeing those blockages that are here. So some of you may deal with somebody who is hot and cold. Hot and cold kind of gives you mixed, confusing... Like you cannot read them because they're keeping things inside with here. With the high priestess. Okay, so let's pull the rest of the oracle. What are their feelings and intentions? Okay, so we've got two. Tenderness and freedom. To me, these are kind of like two opposite energies. The tenderness to me would be about <clears throat> nurturing the connection. Whereas the freedom is... I want to be single. <laughs> I want to be single. I want to be alone with that hermit energy because it is solitude. Um, let's see what the tenderness says. The energy of tenderness activates our capacity to open our hearts and approach the world and each other with gentleness and care. And freedom supports our sense of limitless possibility and potential, boundless expression, and bold exploration. So it may even be like feeling free to love opening themselves up here. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what else. What are their feelings and intentions towards pile two? We have blossoming abundance. I'm going to try to get all these to fit. Blossoming abundance. And then and feelings and intentions. Judgment, which is about making a decision. A choice here. I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. And to me with the abundance, again, this would be nurturing it. Nurturing the connection. I want to clarify a little bit with the tarot. I want to see what they're feeling conflicted about with the two of swords. This is about listening to intuition. Seeking answers, finding answers within sight of the self. Um, okay, let's see. Why is the two of swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? The Five of Wands. That's conflict. Some of you could literally be that you have conflict with each other. The two of you having disagreements, tension, stress, arguments, fights, in, which could show incompatibility. For others of you, this Five of Wands is talking about conflict that could be happening with inside of them. Let's see what else. Why is the Two of Swords here? 
a knight of cups that is romantic and <laughs> that's romantic that is coming forward with an offer so maybe this person feels conflicted about whether or not they should open up their heart they should give you some type of offer here which makes me question like why is the death card in reverse let's see why is death in reverse the five of swords again this other message of feeling of defeated conflict the wheel of fortune why is death here and the hangman makes me feel like this person is feeling undecided should i just kind of go with the flow here okay so what i want to do first off we're going to go into some more oracle cards here but i just I, sh I let pile number one know um but jennifer aquarius taro she was kind enough she sent me a, a bunch of decks you guys so we have decks on decks on decks to use um she sent me these three for love stuff right and then she sent me three other ones that we'll use as well but Twin Flame Union Oracle, Twin Flame Untold Truth, and the Purple Divine Love Oracle. She donated to these to, to the channel. So thank you so much, um, Jennifer, for your kindness, your generosity, sending in your beautiful creations. All of these are available on her in her Etsy shop. I will put the link down below for you guys. She also has her own uh, YouTube channel as well, Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. So check her out. Okay, so let's see here. Pile number two. What are their feelings and intentions? And you know, the hangman energy is kind of like a pause. Take a pause. It's, it's kind of like we're in this indecisive place here, so we can't really progress and move forward with something if we're still thinking about it, right? And that's probably why here with the hermit, your person is taking some time to say, okay, what does my intuition tell me? come forward with that knight of cups offer here and just kind of go with the flow open up your heart and i'm feeling torn here as well with just be single you know looking for answers within inside of themselves so let's see what are their feelings and intentions towards you we have regrets okay regrets and then we have teamwork maybe this person we have ghost oh okay we have ghosting here maybe for some of you this person has ghosted maybe the regrets are that some of you could if like you have a history with this person this person could already be you know kind of shutting you out here with spending time alone in solitude with the hermit energy here this kind of makes me feel what the regrets and teamwork here like this person may even regret not trying to resolve or get past conflict with you you know, teamwork, working together, figuring things out, right? Because everyone that we meet, we all have issues. We all have issues. It's about us finding someone who is, you know, who are two people are willing to face those things. Like, I see your demons, you see mine, we can work together, you know? Um... What are their feelings and intentions towards pile number two? Hidden emotions. We can see that, right? King of Cups. That's a lot of blocked energy there. Suppressing. Holding back. And we have stagnation, which we're seeing with the, um, the hangman. It's kind of like limbo right now. No action. Feeling conflicted. Come forward with an offer or don't. Maybe for some of you, if this person has ghosted you, then they're thinking like, should I go back? Should I say I'm sorry? <laughs> you know, with the Page of Cups could be an apology. Could be some type of communication a person wants to bring forth towards you. But this kind of gives me this energy of non-action right now. Okay, as far as intentions. I feel like the intention we can see here, open up feelings, emotions work together with someone um 
romantic opportunity with the Knight of Cups, but it's kind of like they're in this place where they haven't made that clear decision, right? Still have to make a, some type of a judgment call here. And this to me looks like this person is just kind of like meditating in the middle of a garden, waiting for the answers to come, right? <laughs> waiting for the divine to send answers, like do this or don't do this or... And so that's kind of what makes me feel like with the death card in reverse, like this person is like, there's something here that's like making them like, don't give up, don't stop. They're like, don't let this go. Okay, let's see. Feelings and intentions towards pile number two. We have happy home. Things going well, happy and content. What are their feelings? Fireworks, loving, passionate, and intimacy. So feeling fireworks with you. Let's see what else. Options, multiple choices, many opportunities available. So if you, do, if you are connecting with someone who does date other people, you know, they could be weighing their options here. We have sugarcoat here, superficial expressions, not all that cracked up to be. It makes me feel like this person is thinking like, is there depth to this? We have lovers and friends, you're my jam, close bond, inseparable. And then we also have lovesick here. Void, emptiness, and heartbreak. Now that could be because of something you guys have gone through together, or it can also be something that this person has gone through. Right? Where they're not allowing, especially if they're if you're someone if there's someone who's very um, blocked or cut off emotionally, they can be connecting with you maybe a little bit superficially, right? Like not really letting you in, right? So the things that they say maybe could be very superficial because if the person's got some blocked energy here with that King of Cups in reverse, it's like they're are they really speaking truly from their heart or are they just saying things because they're guarded? Um, with the happy home going well, happy and content, it makes me feel like this would be more or less something that is bringing about stability, security, right? The intentions are to have a balanced, harmonious, stable relationship. They feel there's passion between the two of you. There's a strong connection here. But is this really what I want? They've been hiding feelings and emotions, maybe even having regrets over that. Like, speak up and say something. Let's see what else. What are their feelings and intentions? We have portal here and it says a new cycle of fresh start beginnings and endings. Guarded, feeling cautious, reserved, careful and suspicious, right? Trusting, it's just trusting here. And it says, who are you? lost your individuality and sense of self. So that may even be something that they're concerned about too, is like sometimes when we get into connections, we lose ourselves. right? There's no autonomy there. Um, they can also be like on a mission of figuring out who they are, right? Especially which also happens in the hermit energy. We're spending time on ourselves. We're isolating ourselves. We're figuring out who we are, where we're going, what we're doing, <laughs> who we are when we grow up, right? So they could be afraid of that too, losing their sense of autonomy, losing their freedom. Let's see. We have growth, love grows stronger and deeper over the investment, over the time investment. Hmm. And then we have bottled emotions, suppressing and avoiding venting out how they truly or how you truly feel so they're holding things in right again like i said with the high priestess keeping things inside moving slowly with that um what do we see the knight of pentacles up there okay so we have burning away release from past freedom from pain sorrow and regrets and I'm seeing transformation at the bottom. Relationship evolving to the next phase, ascension and healing. So maybe working on themselves. Maybe this space, if they have ghosted you, this is what they need. They need that time and space to heal, to kind of think about what they're doing. 
Okay, what do I want to do? I want to get guidance for you guys. Let's see. What is pile number two's guidance, advice on this connection? We have the King of Swords. The King of Swords energy is about logic, logical thinking, clear, clear mind. It's also about using our voice, meaning that you are speaking clearly, authentically. Um, you're also able to see through lies, through deception, through manipulation, through illusion. It's about you being very assertive, being clear about what it is that you want, direct, honest in your communication with this person. Um, the King of Swords also carries like a very authoritative energy. <laughs> so I'm not saying go out and be mean to your person and yell at them, but be very clear about what it is that you want. Okay. What is your advice, your guidance? The Knight of Swords, that is action here. Maybe for some of you are needing to reach out to this person. And the world. The world. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to get one more. Four of Wands. Okay. I'm almost kind of feeling like Spirit is saying here to be very clear, right? About what, um, like, especially if this person has withdrawn their energy from you, you know? I feel like making, for some of you, making an effort here to reach out and contact the person. If they're not responsive, if they're not putting in any effort, some of you may be reaching out to reconcile here, right? To try to restore balance or harmony in the connection and just kind of see where the person's at, right? But I'm feeling the King of Swords is being clear. Being clear about what it is that you want. And if this person is not on the same page, you know what you need to do. The world is here. So the world can be about an ending, right? Especially if you, you know, you want someone to be open. You want someone to tell you, you know, that they are, or their, their intentions are honest here, you know? So, hmm. I'm feeling some of you may know with the world energy here, if you need to just kind of cut things off or not. Some of you could work with working and communicating with the person and being very honest, right? Maybe even about your own feelings. Like, I want to reconcile with you. How do you feel about it? You know, are you open to it? And so you know whether or not you should hold on to hope or should you make a decision to end things and start to detach and heal if that is something that you're dealing with right now. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here for you, pile number two. I do hope this is helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonated with the Celestite, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out what your person's feelings and intentions are uh, towards you. So we are going to be pulling out the Tarot and then the Oracle to kind of get a clear picture of what is going on, how your person is feeling, what their intentions are, pile three. So let's see. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Pile three. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Five of Cups. The Queen of Wands. And I will say, you guys, before I was um, kind of shuffling the decks for pile number three, just getting them ready, there was a card that came out, flew out one of the decks, and it said Case of the X. And was it case of the X? So some of you could be dealing either that this is your X 
or there is an ex's influence with this person for some of you, meaning that they could still be healing from an ex relationship. Okay. And it may not be the case for all of you, but that was a card that did fly out when I was shuffling, pre shuffling the oracles to get them ready. What are their feelings and intentions? King of Wands. Wow. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Maybe for some of you this is an X. Because I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles here, which can definitely be about a reconciliation. Um... I'm seeing the queen and the king of wands here. So it makes me feel that this person feels, I don't know, some of you, this could be a soulmate. It could be a very strong connection that you have with this person. But queen and king of wands, I mean, they are counterparts. They're, you know, so I feel like this person sees that there is a strong attraction between the two of you, passionate energy. The five of cups is a card of sadness, grief, loss, um, disappointment, feeling hopeless, regrets, guilt. And then we have the seven of wands energy here, which is about, um, challenges, adversity, maybe even the person being a little bit defensive here. So I want to see what else coming through but I feel like this person feels that there's mutual con attraction mutual connection between the two of you it's very passionate energy maybe for some of you if this is your ex that they miss you you know they miss you wanting reconciliation here feeling a little sad and for those of you where this you this is not your ex, I would say that they feel that there is this connection between the two of you. Some of you might even work with this person and <laughs> with the three of pentacles here. You might work with this person and they feel that there is attraction that's here. Maybe the disappointment comes from we work together. We work together. The seven of wands could also be, if that is the case, the seven of wands would more or less take on that energy of not crossing boundaries. There's a little bit of resistance there. You know, maybe because of what the circumstances are. Okay, so let's see. What are their feelings and intentions towards pile number three? We have curiosity. <laughs> curiosity. Let's get one more. And we have freedom. Okay. So this makes me feel like for some of you, this person might not quite be sure if there is commitment here or not. Okay, let me, let's see what else, what are their feelings and intentions? We have healer of the ages, healer of the ages. Feelings and happiness. Happiness. And we're going to pull two more from this one here. What are their feelings and intentions? We have open up here. throat chakra okay the throat chakra which means this person opening up to you talking to you speaking to you feeling maybe opening up to you right that way in which they are um, talking communicating clearly being able to voice something to you attraction um that they have towards you Maybe for some of you where there is a breakup here, this person could be opening up to you, letting you know that they want to heal, right? Because I'm seeing the healer of the ages here. It looks like there is this big glowing energy here in this person's heart space. 
some of you, the person could literally be very curious about you, especially if it's like a crush situation or somebody that you haven't really had anything with. Curious and happy. And the Seven of Wands is also a card of perseverance. Um, we have open up here, which is the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is... You know, we're feeling comfortable in the comfort zone. There can be a feeling of fear of taking things to the next level. Yeah, it makes me feel like this person feels a little afraid of maybe, you know, trying to work towards opening up here to take a risk here. Hmm. I'm kind of curious why this Five of Cups is here. Okay. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Page of Cups. Oh, maybe the person for some of you is feeling like... Feeling like they can't express their feelings. Maybe for some of you, the Five of Cups can stand for some type of regret or guilt, and the Page of Cups would be wanting to apologize to you. Communication of some kind, speaking up. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Queen of Cups, yeah. This almost makes me feel like there's feelings that are here that this person has not expressed. Not expressed. Why is the Five of Cups here? Strength in the reverse. This is fear. This is letting their ego get the best of them. Right? I feel like one maybe wanting the freedom to speak up, the freedom to open up. If they have any wounds here, working on healing those. Uh, let's see. What is this Three of Pentacles energy? What is that? The two, what is that? Ten of Cups? Yes, Ten of Cups. Okay, let's get one more. Three of Cups. I'm sorry, Three of Pentacles. The Tower in Reverse. Some of you, if this is an ex-partner, it's kind of like this person is reflecting back on your love, your connection. Some of you, this is kind of like post-breakup, where this person is like wanting to talk to you about the feelings they have still being there, but also being afraid. Some of you, this person, if, especially if you don't really have a history with them, it's kind of like holding all of this stuff inside and wanting to speak on it, wanting to say something. Wanting to open up to you, wanting to have the freedom you know, they may also kind of be in a place to say, okay, how do you feel about this situation? I feel like they see that there is a very strong connection between the two of you. Very passionate energy. And I'm feeling a lot of feelings and emotions. You know, for some of you, this can even be love or liking you a lot, especially if it's something new, but feeling afraid to speak up, afraid to say something. This to me also, the way his body language is, is very open. Very open to receive healing. Opening up their heart in a way. Oh, look at that. Open up here. There's opening up here literally in the way that his body language is. The freedom to me even. This looks like a little, kind of like a little bug here with wings with a little body down here and then the center here again open to light open to this energy that's kind of what i'm getting okay hmm let's move into <clears throat> our oracle our other oracle cards and i wanted to say a huge thank you um i showed these to pile number one and two as well but Jennifer Aquarius Tarot was kind enough. She sent me six oracle decks um, that she creates. Beautiful, beautiful decks. She sent me these three for love readings, and then she sent me three other ones. 
um, that we're going to use for other readings. But a uh, huge thank you to Jennifer Aquarius Tarot for sending in these decks for us to use for our um, readings. She donated them, so super grateful. Okay, so let's <clears throat> see here. And I will have the link for her Etsy for these cards uh, in the description box. What are her feelings and intentions? I'm sorry, not her. <laughs> what are their feelings and intentions? I'm still thinking about Jennifer. Okay, so we have jealousy here. We have not interested. Separation. What are their feelings and intentions? Dating. And we have a blockage, a blockage, dating, separation, not interested, and jealousy. This kind of gives me like these vibes that, I mean, let's just say, let's just say this is an ex-partner for you, okay? <clears throat> Some of you, jealousy could resonate because there could have been jealousy issues between you and this person. So only take what fits if it's like you're like, what is that? It's probably not for you. Um, jealousy, I'm seeing, could have been an issue, right? And if that is the case, <clears throat> this person could be saying, you know what? No, I'm not going to go back to this. We're going to stay separated. I'm going to date other people. And there's a blockage here, right? For others of you, this can even be a situation in which this person has these feelings, has not spoken about them, and is low-key jealous if you are dating other people. Because, I mean, we've got the Queen and King of Wands here. The Queen and King of Wands are the epitome of attractive, attractive people. Um, people that are draw a lot of attention to themselves because they're beautiful, they're handsome, you know. Um, so there can be a lot of intimidation there. So this person can also be jealous, acting like they're not interested, staying away from you, but also secretly wanting to date you, you know, so I'm kind of getting a little bit of a mix. So take how it fits or it resonates to your situation. And then we have blockages here. So we're going to see what else is going on. We have commitment here, loyalty, honor, and values. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Loyal, trustworthy, reliable, honors you. So it makes me feel like this person with the not interested here, are they just acting like that? <laughs> acting like they're not interested. Like, I don't see you, but who doesn't see the queen of wands and the king of wands? That's like, you can't not notice them. <laughs> um, let's see. We have wishes, wishes coming true, dreams coming into fruition. What are their feelings and intentions? Making amends with you, apologies and forgiveness, soulmates, divine union, a soul contract. That's what that queen and king of wands feels like, right? Soulmate energy, their counterparts. Reflection, reflecting on, what does that say? Reflecting on actions and thoughts, reevaluating things. And it says balance here. Are things equal? Time to make adjustments. So I want to see the energy behind the not interested. Kind of, kind of makes me feel like this person's acting like they're not interested when they really are. Like they're playing it off. They're playing it off here. And look at that. We've got soulmates, commitment, loyal, making amends. It's like being in a relationship, evaluating things, opening up to you, seeing that there's potential for you guys to have this. So why the not interested? Why is not interested in here? Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Hmm. I will say, Knight of Swords energy at times can be a little bit in their ego. Because they kind of have, and that's not for all, but they kind of have this energy about them 
that is very confident in the way that they speak, the way that they communicate, the way that they take action here. And it makes me feel like if this feeling is underneath it all, the Knight of Swords, is it putting them in a place where they're kind of too prideful here? Or let's see what else. Why? What is this not interested here? The Wheel of Fortune. This person's energy, unpredictable. We have the Ace of Swords and also the Four of Swords. Which is about taking time for reflection to gain clarity. So it may be like if this person's like doesn't know what to do, they want to feel confident in their action, in their words, in their what they're saying or doing here. So I'm going to act like I'm not interested right now until I figure it out. <laughs> because the Knight of Swords is very like on it. Like they're very sure of themselves. So if, if they're really like low key underneath it all, f afraid, the Knight of Swords is not going to show you that. They're not going to tell you I'm afraid because they're wanting to show you that they're confident in their words and their actions and things of that nature. So it's like, it makes me feel like if this person's energy is all over the place and they don't have the clear, direct, straightforward answer to give to you, they're kind of a little... I want to say like a smart aleck, but like just very, I don't know if it's arrogance. I mean, it could be with the king and queen of wands a little bit <laughs> with that kind of ego, you know, acting like they're not interested because they're um, their own energy and they don't want to show you that. They don't want to show you that they're not altogether balanced, that they don't have it together because when they talk to you they want you to see or they want it to seem like they are very sure of themselves okay seven of pentacles at the bottom which is the process of evaluation and reassessment so it makes me feel like if they're if they're trying to figure things out they might act like they're not interested like they've lost interest you know, I want to see what this blockage is here. What is the blockage? The four of wands. That is commitment, relationship, partnership. For some of you, reconciliation. Or they're in a relationship. I don't know. The four of wands is a commitment. Maybe they're with if some of you. The person could be with someone else. Um... What is the blockage here? Six of Pentacles. That would be investing into the connection. And then we have the sun. Mm. I'm seeing five of swords at the bottom. This could even be self-sabotaging. And I'm seeing six of wands underneath that. So I feel like a lot of their ego is getting in the way here. Um... What else do we want? These ones. What are their feelings and intentions towards pile number three? We have fairy tale, daydreaming, an unreal connection, too good to be true. So it makes me feel like they're they're thinking about you. They're thinking about you. Daydreaming about you. We have, what does this say? Considering reaching out at a distance, withdrawn, gaining confidence to reach out. Like I said, that king of that uh, knight of swords wants to be sure about their action. Um, and they usually don't take so much time. The knight of swords doesn't usually take so much time to be right out with it, with their what they're doing. You know, because it can be a little bit of impulsive energy. So a person who just kind of blurts things out or you know, uh, says something that they regret later <laughs> because they're just like out with it, right? Saying things sometimes without thinking. We have finality here. Nail in the coffin, endings, finals, final and goodbye. And then we have anger, easily triggered, animosity, resentment, and hostility. 
And then we have rings here, union, commitment, everlasting love, eternal promise. So some of you, like I said, if this is a past person, an ex-partner, um, you know, there could be a feeling afraid to go back into it. Like, do you, have you guys had like some disagreements or arguments that you were not able to get past? You know, should I go back into this commitment? For some of you, especially where you haven't really had anything with this person, I would say that maybe they feel frustrated. They feel frustrated here. Because the, 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 um, this fairy tale type of energy here, daydreaming about you, thinking about you, re considering reaching out, maybe they are withdrawn from you at this time. The finality here, you know, should I walk away from this? Or should I invest time and energy into this? And I'm seeing runner at the bottom, ghosting, avoiding, non-committal, fear of settling down for some of you. Okay. Um, so it kind of makes me feel like this person a little bit feels kind of like all over the place. You know, on one hand, they see that there's something that's there between the two of you. There's fears that are here, creating blockages. acting like they're not uh, interested when I feel like underneath it all, they are. But it also requires them to, you know, invest time and energy. And are they prepared to do that? So what I want to do, I want to ask Spirit for guidance for you, pile number three. What is pile three's advice on this situation? What is pile three's advice? We have the two of wands. That is about making a decision or choice, planning, thinking, uh, the Empress. I feel like Spirit's saying here, know your worth. Know your worth. What do you want? King of Cups. I feel like honoring what your intuition is telling you. We have the hangman at the bottom. The hangman is giving, it may be for you to also take a step back and to really think about things. You know, is this person truly giving you what you need, what you want? what you desire? Is it worth it for you to hold on or to wait or to invest further? You know, I'm feeling like looking at this Empress here, it's like spirit saying, don't forget who you are and what you're deserving of. Don't take and don't settle for less. If you're going all in and giving your whole heart and the person's not showing that to you, you know, know that you, you, the Empress does not have to beg, you know, anyone, <laughs> anyone to be with her or to be with you. You know, we are all deserving of unconditional love and it's about us learning that. So I'm feeling this is spirit saying here, you have a decision to make. Take a step back, take some time to think about things. Those of you where this is an ex-partner and you guys do have some challenges here, you know, and if this person hasn't making some serious moves towards reconciling with you, you know, you will also have to, I feel like with the hangman, take, take some time, reflect. Um, is it worth it for me to continue to invest my time and energy here? Is this person doing anything? Are they speaking up? Are they trying to resolve things? Are they trying to heal? Are they trying to reconcile this relationship? Or are they making a move? Aside from showing you for some of you that the person that they're not interested, but then giving you all that whole hot and cold energy. You know, the King of Cups is also a symbol of emotional maturity. Right? About you taking a, a more balanced emotional stance in this situation. You know, not allowing maybe what's kind of happening here to throw you off energetically, but more you're coming from that place of emotional maturity to honestly reflect on the connection. Okay, so that is all that I have for you. Pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.